Hey, what is happening, Steam It? What's happening, YouTube? Uh, this is just going to be a quick video showing you how to add photos to your Steam It posts. So I already did a video about how to format your Steam It posts, and I may have briefly touched on how to do the photos, but uh, Clem Dan here uh, had sent me a message last night and asked, uh, Hey there, sorry to bug you, but wondered if you had any tips for putting photos on Steam It. I still don't understand how to do it. I tried steaming our Steam IMG and it won't let me upload anything. The other thing I tried didn't display the photo in my post. It just put a link to in it, which looked lame. Uh, anyway, wanted to wanted any video I ideas would love that one. So uh, Clem Dane, thank you for the idea. Uh, I, yeah, like I kind of showed this in the how to put up your first Steam it post. Um, but one thing that actually I didn't realize was how to actually add photos or gifts into an actual comment. So I'm going to show you guys how to add photos to your posts as well as to comments and this video is going to be kind of specifically dedicated to that so if anybody's on youtube and or steam it searching for how do i add a photo versus just you know having to watch my 12 minute long video about how to make your first post so uh, here's what we're going to do and i'm going to show you guys a couple of ways to do this so uh first off you're going to click submit a story now some people maybe use this editor here uh this editor will let you just put in a oh okay I guess they're to let you put in a link to a photo I actually found it easier to use the markdown so uh, you know I'll, I'll link to my other video about how to make your first post but basically by putting a hashtag and then farts um, we can go down here and preview and you know farts shows up as an h1 tag if we get rid of the hashtag it's just farts in regular letters if we put asterisks on each side so that that's kind of what what markdown is so um, Let's see how to add a photo to a Steam It post. And we might make this an H1 tag, so we're going to do that. And let's say I want to put an image down here. I kind of like to space my images, but just hitting this, the enter bar won't actually do that. So you're going to want to do that to create a space. And then I would go to selecting them. And Okay, so maybe I'll go a little bit slower. So insert images by dragging and dropping or selecting them. So we're going to click selecting them, and we're going to click this image. Now, I'm not sure if this is what you were referring to or this is where the confusion comes in. Um, it's taken a while to make this happen. Okay, so as you can see there, it looks like a link, right? It doesn't look like a photo's in there, but if we scroll down to the preview, you can actually see that we do have the photo down here in the preview. So we'll get rid of that. And I'm going to show you guys another way how to do this in just a second here. This way I, I find to be a little bit of a pain in the butt because, uh, you know, you got to kind of minimize your screen so that you can find the image on your desktop or you would have to, you know, open up your file finder or whatever. Uh, but anyhow, uh, if I want to add a photo this way, I would just take, this is actually from my side hustle series. I would just drag it in there, drop, it's going to upload, upload to 100%. Okay, and it puts it there. And then if we scroll down to the actual... It seems to take a second to kind of register here. We'll go ahead and add a bar below there. Okay, and then if we scroll there. So again, if we wanted to add an image, we can do one of two things. We can either drag the image into here. Um, sorry, my computer's lagging up here. Or if we're actually using the Markdown Editor, um, we can actually just cl click Select, click the image. And sometimes there's a little bit of a delay. Sometimes this gets a little little kooky and it wants to add like the photo above my title. And, and if, you know, if it happens to do that, um, you know, I just move it down below. But, you know, that that's as simple as adding a photo is. Um, if we were potentially in the comments section, um, let me come over here. Okay, so my homie Brian Phobos uh, just replied to me. So he, he left this here. But let's say I wanted to reply to him. Uh, there is no markdown editor um, to where I could actually um, click upload an image. So what I would need to do here is basically just drag the image that I want right into the reply box. Uploading. And it's right here now. Okay, so there you can kind of preview it. And make sure you always have a space between your text, otherwise your text won't show up. And again, you can preview down there. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. I, I, uh, you know, I, I thought this was a great question. Uh, steam, it can be a little bit overwhelming at first. Uh, but yeah, as you can see here, pretty straightforward. You got a couple different ways to add images there. Um, I'm by no means a steam it expert. Um, you know, I've been on about two weeks, still kind of learning the ropes myself, but I have kind of figured a few things out. So if any of you guys have questions about formatting posts, what type of content to post, 
you know, how to transfer your Steam dollars, how to power up, how to power down, anything like that, uh, feel free to hit me up. I will try to help you out. And if for some reason I do not know the answer, uh, you know, I'll reach out to, to Brian Phobos or Vogeltron or uh, uh, I, I just uh, kind of connected with, uh, what was his name? Yeah, I don't know, another pretty established dude on here who uh, Brian was talking about the other day. So I, I've made a few friends on here who are, are pretty knowledgeable. So if I can't get the answer myself, if I don't know the answer myself, I'll try to get it from them. Uh, hopefully this video helps you guys out. Uh, if anyone has any questions, comments, or anything you want to add about Steam It, drop it in the comment section below. Catch you guys on the next video. If I don't see you guys before, then have a happy 4th of July weekend, and uh, I'll catch you guys later.